we go. Hello. I'll give the game just a moment to pop in here. There it goes. Alright. Hello. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. I was so excited. I think this is the earliest I've like ever gone live on a weeknight. I was just like so excited that like I got ready ready to hit the stream button and then I realized that like my bed was not made. Everything was like chaotic and I was like, okay, I need to take a deep breath and like make <laughs> get actually get ready. But let's load up this game. Uh, I feel like I'm getting kind of close. Like, I know there's still more things I have to do, but I think in terms of, like, exploration, I'm kind of getting close to the end, which is kind of surprising. I don't know if that's true. We're going to find out. I did look up the average time to beat, and uh, the game said, like, between 15 and 25 hours, and we're at, like, tw almost 12. So, we'll see. I doubt we're going to finish tonight. I still love this little penguin guy. He's so cute. This game does have pretty impressive load times, I will say that. wait there it goes i love that he falls over i never get tired of this little animation i'm trying to even remember where we left off last time i played i had just gotten the greater depth module we did the that crystal cave and got some additional blueprints so we need to find the rest of the alien items um So we'll see. I guess I'll prioritize getting those items. Um, I still have to work out the actual layout of the map a little bit in my brain a bit more. I'm starting to understand it. There it goes. Whew, taking its sweet time though. Um, I also think it's hilarious that these are just like infinite power. I'm wondering if this is a bug because <laughs> I've never added to this. It's just always been full. Let's swap out some batteries. Oh, sweet. We got potatoes now. Oh, that's right. I was going to make an outdoor garden with those edible fruit. If we can find that again, that'd be a good place to start. Uh, I only really need two batteries with me. I guess I can replace the scanner. Why not? Oh, that's cool. It just auto-switched them. I don't think the game used to do that before. Maybe it did. So let's take a quick look at our notes. Research. Potato plant. Oh yeah, the flowering spores. That's coming back to me. Con an enemy. The oriental plants. Those were cool, those big anemone plants. Alright. Cool. I'm trying to remember what we needed this for. Was it to make the supercharged fins? It was. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we did that. Yeah. So we can unpin both of those. Ion cell, ion battery? Okay. 
I guess I see no point in waiting. We might as well just... Oh, you know what? I'll actually... Oh, I remember what we left off on. I remember. We made this big ass room. We should put something in it. Hell yeah. Okay. I want a water filtration machine. I could make a cool little bedroom. I don't know if I'll bother, but we can. We can do whatever we want. Water filtration machine, aerogel. Do we have stuff to make aerogel? This is the first time I've even seen it mentioned. Oh, we can make this shit now. Oh, all right, well, let's pin those. And then we're gonna find the aerogel. I do wish that I could scroll. I guess I can just click this and drag it, whatever. I'm just being nitpicky for no reason. Aerogel. Gel sack and ruby. I think we have that. I'm pretty sure we have some of those. Yeah, we do. And a ruby. Oh, I'm so glad that I took the time to do this organization. It's just so much better. Um, let's start with one. I don't know how many we need. And I'm looking at the recipes, like, what did- Oh, we needed it for the water filtration machine. Duh. I should pin that, too. Copper. We even have copper wire already. Titanium. Alright. Let's see. We could put the filtration machine in here, just for convenience. Because I know it's, like, huge. Yeah, let's put it right here because it won't be interesting to have, like, a window there. Yes. Never have to go catch a billion fish ever again. But then what's gonna go in this room? This is gonna be my bedroom. Like, the entire thing. Because that's how I want to live. I might do this later. We'll see. I like- I just- I like the idea of just, like, putting a bunch of shit everywhere. <laughs> How big is this? Just throw it in the middle of the room. That sounds like chaos to me. Like, if you have a- a bed with nothing behind it, that freaks me out. Like, there has to be a wall or- or something. Alright, so we got the water filtration machine. I can't get over how useful it is being able to pin this stuff. Uh, I don't need to pin the aerogel anymore. Okay. Let's make this first thing for the, for the aliens. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. We need three of those. We need one fancy ingot. Which is gonna need lithium. I'm glad I have at least some of this memorized. Um, we need two of the battery, but the battery plants. Food. I definitely have a ton of battery. Okay, they are. They're in plants. What do you know? Diamond. Don't I have one for just like rare shit? Yeah. And a couple of those. All right, well, there's one. Now the question is, where do we craft this? I don't know why I didn't think of that first. Where do we... I guess I'll make the titanium ingot while we're here. Huh. Yeah. 
It's not a part of the motor vehicle bay, is it? Also, I should make sure that this is uh, docked and charging. Welcome aboard, Captain. Excellent. Fishy. All right. I don't even know where I left my motor vehicle bay. I think I brought it over here. Okay, I did. Perfect. Are you in here? So many sea trunk things. But vehicles, it's just the prawn suit. So... I guess I, I guess I can't. I guess not, not yet. It's my little not quite, uh, pick some potatoes. Wow, I'm out of water. God damn it. I'm always out of water. I guess now I can have this one. It just feels so wasteful to use the higher volume. I guess I'll make this now too, since I have everything in my inventory presently. Maybe I need to have, like, all the things before I can do any of that. Feels silly, but... Took so much time to go and pick everything up. Put the plants back. Put these guys back. At least picking everything up is a lot faster now. Because goddamn... I'm definitely gonna need some more water before we go on another another trip. It'd be cool if we could find some salt too. I feel kind of dumb for neglecting salt for so long, so I was gonna be like, I, I'm gonna ha I'm not gonna need this. I'm gonna have a uh, excess of salt like immediately. I think I got the water filtration machine a lot earlier in the first game, so I just kind of had that expectation that salt was just gonna be annoying. Salt? Salt? It's quartz? Oh, there's some. Gotta make a nice dinner. Oh man, you guys, I have started cooking with uh, Brussels sprouts a lot more recently. Before, I always hated them. Always hated Brussels sprouts. I thought they were disgusting. I didn't know why anyone would ever choose to eat them. Um, turns out, I just, like, had never had them cooked well. And so then I started cooking them uh, a new way. Just, like, broiling them. And it was astounding, the difference. Oh, it's a penguin. Uh, da -da. I think that's enough stuff. I grabbed some quartz too, I think. We'll go cure some food. 
and then we're gonna go exploring. We're just gonna do some good old exploring. Pretty sure I have a good number of peepers back at the at the house. Get over here. I think I mentioned in the last stream, but I'm saying it again because I think it was so funny, um, that I learned in the first Subnautica there was a bug where once you got all of the, um, once you got all of the parts that you needed for the water filtration machine, it actually stopped spawning the bladder fish. Um, and I always thought that that was, like, a feature because it's like, oh, you're creating a really large impact on the environment. Um, I just heard the water filtration machine. That makes me happy. Uh, so I always thought that was, like, hugely intentional. But it turns out it was a bug that got, like, patched. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. We're gonna have water for days. I didn't realize I caught this many. God damn. There were just so many out there. Guess I didn't need the water filtration machine. All right, there we go. Let's cure another fish. Two fish should be enough. We definitely don't need all this water. But we do want to have some of it right now. We'll grab another potato. Let's grab one more so we're super full up. Yeah. Perfect. That's what I love. Alright, we're gonna drop the quartz. And we'll put the salt in with the food. It won't fit. We'll put the salt in with the organic. It still won't fit. How about in here? It's going in here. The miscellaneous big dump box. Alright. Now we just have to attach our butt. Yes. Excellent. Now where are we going and what are we doing? What are we gonna do? I do want to find that quite badly. Um, the artifacts in general. Um, I know we've been to a couple of them, and I, I think one of these, other than this one, we haven't been to, and I don't really know which one, because it doesn't really indicate which one you're at when you have it highlight, or when, when you get there. So, we'll see. Um, we've already gone to the pilot's last known position. We can turn that off for now. Um... The Delta docking station. I guess we'll leave that up. And I think that's that's everything. Alright. So. I don't think we can get there from here. I think that we have to go... Like, out and around. Actually, we do kind of want the pilot's last known location. Because this is the direction that that entrance is in. So we'll go this way. Wait. We don't have any health packs. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. We need health packs. Last time was a disaster. We need at least two. Also, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, 
but every time that we leave the ship, I've noticed it's at 100% battery. I'm wondering if when it goes in here, if it automatically just like refills completely. That would be really nice if it didn't have to like take time to charge. Because so far we've never had to wait. Uh, I guess I can take off these blueprints too now that I think about it because we don't know how to use them. Don't need to look at them. Um, health pack. Two should be enough. Should be good. How much water do we have? You know what? I'm gonna grab this extra water. Just cause. We're gonna have lots of water soon with that filtration machine. Might as well just have a surplus. And are these emptied? They are not. They're not that full though. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care if there's some stuff in there. I wonder how many people, like, totally fill up their, uh, their ship, like, with all the extra little train cars. Because I, I only have the one right now, and I don't feel like I need any of the other ones. Gonna try not to irritate any of these things. I wanna follow this around a little bit. Cause I wanna see if I can get like a path to that area that had those fruit. So this area, I think, is just totally new to us. There's a lot of these oxygen fish here. I'm sorry, whole fish? Donut fish. Let's take a look up here. Is this just one big, gigantic iceberg? Oh, it sure is. I wonder if we can get up there. There's gotta be more land stuff in this game. I just don't really know what it is. Or what it could be. What's down here? Oh, maybe nothing. I think it was just the elements loading in. Mulan and nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. Huh. That's interesting. Hollow chamber. Oh, that's actually easier to see. We got all new music over here. Ooh, this looks like an entrance. Maybe. Maybe not. Excuse me, lady. What was that, uh, what was that thing you were talking about? Is it this? This feels like we've gone too far. And that makes me nervous.
This doesn't feel right. I'm getting real nervous. I'm going back. I'm not into this. This is not... This does not feel productive. I get that there's like an entrance somewhere around here, but I just don't know what it could be. I go this way I just like have a hunch that I'm gonna get like a warning that's like you're entering the dead zone maybe not but that's what it looks like This game is like a constant dance of, I... This, uh, this game is a con constant dance of my curiosity is very strong and, and not strong enough. Oh yeah, this is that uh, inactive lava cave, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been in here already. That fish is not welcome here. He can just fuck right off. Not into that. Just leave me alone and I will leave you alone. Strangely, it's a little easier to see without the flashlight. Is that... Am I crazy? I keep turning it on because I want it to be better. That's kind of cave, but not really an entrance. I should really start making beacons. Oh, leave me alone. This looks more like an entrance. If I fit. Excuse me. Yep, so we've been in here to this one. Ugh. What I want to know is if this continues. I am just like destroying my poor ship. I guess I should get a fabricator thing. What? Oh, what if I just like follow this? It'd be really convenient if this um, is attached to it. My hunch is that there's like a big system and everything is interconnected and then there's like little bubbles of areas that aren't. Um, that's kind of my hope. Because otherwise, right now, it's just a ton of aimless wandering. Oh yeah, here's this this area with this lady. Now we're 
like too deep. I don't really want to get involved with that leviathan again. Hey, Seb. Yeah, right? Well, it's interesting. They The, uh, the game says, the game lore is that um, the waters are warm and then the above water is cold. So it's like like an active lava planet or something like that, you know? And then the deeper you go, the hotter it gets. But also it seems strange. Yeah, it is wild. How are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Well, doesn't the Earth have a molten core? Excessively busy? Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, this week work has been kind of crazy and then I'm also dealing with apartment stuff. Yeah, but the ocean is far away from the core, yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. It's true. The ocean is very cold. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just a busy week. But thank you. And same to you as well. So this is where we're trying to get. And I haven't worked out how to get there. You scoob it a little, and it's so chilly, even in a normal lake. Yeah. Yeah, wetsuits help, but... But dang. So I think that's how I came in. Came down this way. Hey, Loof. How are you? Uh, I really don't want to go down further. I just want to find the other potential entrance. Nope, 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 nope. I don't wanna. I changed my mind. Leave me alone. Don't do it. Don't come for me. Please don't come for me. Ugh. My, my ship is getting stuck on the environment. How are we? We're good. We're good. I've been super busy this week. Been a little crazy with some apartment stuff. And, uh... Try not to lose my mind. Nope, nope. Leave me alone. He's definitely gonna come for me. He's gonna grab me. Not feeling it. We still don't have a completed prawn suit, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh No! Hate it. I hate it every time. I'm pretty sure I even have, like, a, uh... A porn suit? A prawn suit. That'd be something. Although, I will say, if someone did a Subnautica, like, cosplay and then went on the the bath and what is it, hot tub category, that would be hilarious. Hilarious. 
uh, Seb, are you talking about the, the big fish? Because, yeah, he's a jerk. So this is the other way to come in that I- this is the way I got here first. What even is a porn suit? <laughs> no chuchin, but spicy. Um, the, the prawn suit, I can actually- once we get up here I can probably show you one. Uh, but they are like robot suits that you sit in. I think it involves, like, whipped cream or something. Yeah. But, like, actually, I don't know. Do people actually use whipped cream during sex? Because that just sounds awful to me. It just sounds like it would get everywhere. I'm not into that. No, thank you. Also, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. I'm really just, like, exploring a little bit. You're sure it's done once by someone and then never again? Yeah, that sounds about right. I think that's the case for a lot of people. They're like, yeah, this is in movies. It sounds so much fun. And then they try it and they're like, actually, that was disgusting. How do I get to this? How do we do it? I do not know. But I'm pretty sure it's down this way. We could probably scan that, but I don't, I don't feel like I need to. I've definitely been here. Definitely done all this. It's funny when the room specific uh, music comes on and then you just go right past it. So oh 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 oops oops I, would, I thought that was like a dead one. I'm pretty sure that there's a uh, another base here. If there is, I want to try for, like, the third time to get that fruit. Maybe it's not here. This looks like too many different entrances. Whatever. Going back down. It's fine. Going back down, then we're circling around. We're gonna find this alien piece. Or else. Loof, what have you been up to lately? You finished Resident Evil, right? I've been, like, loosely following those games. This feels wrong. This just doesn't feel like the right way to get to this place. I need a map of this whole cave system. He's been massively affected by Ali's propaganda. <laughs> oh, he moved on to Mass Effect. Cool. Awesome. Man. I feel so lost. You're doing some more uh, Mass Effect 1 tonight? That's awesome. I like when classic games get like so much new hype.
Oh, this area looks familiar, too. I've been to so many of these areas before, but I just, like, have trouble finding them again once I get there. We're, like, circling it. Like, we're not even making... You guys can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, like... Ooh. Go under it and then up. That's exciting. Skill suit. Spy pangling fragment? What? Are we gonna are we gonna infiltrate the penglings? New technology acquired. Oh my god. Oh my god. That excites me greatly. Spy pangling. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, oh my god, there's so much to read about it. Spy Pangling. The Spy Pangling provides new avenues for researchers to act access natural, above-ground habitats. habitats. It is especially effective at maneuvering through spaces otherwise too small for humans. Got a bop for a good 40 minutes or so. Be back if I'm still going. Sounds good. Uh, have a good, um, good, good, good whatever you're doing, Seb. I'll see you around. Uh, penguins are highly active creatures who are protective of their young penguins. In order to better study these energetic denizens of the Arctic region, uh, Altera scientists on this planet uh, had to think outside of the base. A well-known phenomenon, the V. Callus uh, principle, asserts that in order to best study fauna, one must become the fauna. Scientists across the stars have used this basic principle to infiltrate and observe alien creatures of all sizes and dispositions. Uh, Dr. Caius, Caicus, Caicus, uh, Curtis, Tussin, and Macbeth pioneered these accomplishments. Inspired by this, after Seek months. Of trial and error, the first spy pengling was crafted by Phi Robotic Center. Warning: Research to create a waterproof edition of the spy pengling was halted due to compliance concerns. Currently, contact with water will result in complete system failure. Okay. Sit back, relax, and let the robots do the hard work. I like the sound of that. Alright, and then this is where we started. This is where we came in. So, like... Hmm. Hmm. place is a little rough to navigate. I, I'm not ready to leave this area yet, actually. No, I like, I really am convinced that it's connected down there. Um, and it's probably connected to that area with the big fish that I'm afraid of because they're hiding it from me. They're, they're trying to keep that from me. Trying to. This game wants me to be afraid. I guess I should have some water. Vital signs stabilizing. I think these are so pretty. It's like, what a cool area. What's this way? Is 
big ass fish. There's a big ass fish this way. God damn it. Uh, rude. Rude. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, it is crazy. <laughs> It's not an insta-kill, though, so that's nice. Um, it's just, like, a, a mild inconvenience if you get caught by it. If you get caught by it, like, twice, I think you go down. I think then you're kind of screwed. No, you can't reach me down here. You're too fat. No! I thought it was too thick to get me. I can't fit down here. Alright. I almost feel guilty that I'm just like aimlessly wandering in this game. Like I don't I don't want to aimlessly wander. I want to kinda like know where to go and just like go do it. Go go do the thing. You know? But... The game can't hand me everything. another one. I'm pretty sure this is how we got to the... one of the, uh... Man, it makes me flinch a little bit. I'm not... not big on it. this way was to get to one of the one of the research locations so I I doubt that there's more stuff over there oh shit oh I thought I could scan it Where'd my ship go? Ship? I'm glad we didn't die there. I thought we were going to. We took a lot of damage. Let's get out of here. I don't feel like I'm making good progress. We can go look somewhere else.
see, my thinking is that it should be, like, down one of these tunnels, you know? I guess it still could be. Pretty sure I've scanned all of these, but I'll go check it out anyways. Yeah, docking module. Oh! Oh, I don't have all those. I guess I should still try to try to get all those things that I see. I know I just have so many that I like don't need and don't want. But here's another one. This should be the last one. Got it. And this is where we were before. Going in circles. And now we're just out. Let's just go where this takes us. Maybe we'll try starting closer to it. Aquarium module. There's really there's a there's a blueprint for everything. At the end of the game, I should make every single car that you can attach to this thing and just see. Just see what uh what it looks like. At least I know I'm gonna need titanium soon because I just don't have that much. So there's no loss in picking those up. And we're getting closer to this thing. Oh, hello, ship. I remember you. Nice to see you. I think this thing is so fucking cool. Just like this big ass ship. And we don't have a laser cutter yet, so we can't explore it very much. And see, now we're like kind of over this thing. Oh, you know what? There was something that I had to make, like a beacon or something for for that. Maybe we should go figure that out. And it got a lot darker all of a sudden. Well, now it's brightening up a little bit. Not a fan. 
Down here may be a good entrance for another cave. I don't think we've really been down here except for the one time when we got that item we needed. Yeah, we went into this thing. You can just... We'll just go our separate ways. What's that? Thermal plant. Okay. Okay, but it's not what I wanted. Fish. down there, but I don't think there's a... Oh, nope. Just leave me alone. More thermal plant stuff, which we don't need. This is cool, but is there any path down here? I think we've been to this thing already. Yeah, we've already taken that stuff. This is a cave. Oh shit. Or does this just take us back to where we were? God! This has got to be how we get to this thing. But then we're just back here again. Does it say anything in here about how to get to where I'm going? Oh yeah, the skill suit. Because drinking reclaimed urine is better than death by dehydration. Yikes. game I have questions and they are not getting answered just 
Leave me be. Please. It would be nice if uh, there was a depth on this instead of just distance. Like, I can kind of guess at the depth, but if it was, like, confirmed... Like, I'm pretty sure it was in the, in the first game. If you had a beacon, you could, like, see exactly where something was. Um, That'd be nice so I would know which areas I should focus on. To look instead of like just kind of going around and around. Just hoping. We were out. stuck not gonna lie I'm a little bit I'm a little stumped we could try going on land again maybe if we get somewhere safe for like a minute is this something This looks promising. No, this is too small. That doesn't seem right. I'm pretty sure I've been in this little cave before because I remember getting stuck. It just seems so close. I don't think this is right either. Poor little sea trunk just going all over the place. It's 
So I know one of the things that we needed to make or build or whatever is... Um, I remember there was something mentioned... The test override module. This. And then what the hell is a parallel processing unit? Keeping an eye on my temperature too. Processing unit. Is that something that I just like picked up at one point? this being so easy to get to last time. Definitely gonna want a couple of those. I wish I knew where we were. I think we're here. Maybe I need to go on top of those big icebergs, because we went over here. Definitely haven't been to one of these two. I think this is the one we haven't been to. And this, I, I don't know what that is. Okay. Might as well just keep everything full except for the water, I guess. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Maybe I can find clues about Sam here. I've definitely been in here before. I don't know what my person's talking about. Maybe they just don't expect you to go back. <laughs> but I guess at some point I'm gonna need to do something here to this test module. I need that parallel thing. Down we go. And so, we, when we, oh, when we landed, it was on that island with the volcano. That was how we got on this planet in the first place. Um...
It's nice having just some... Like, I can see the sky. <laughs> Oh shit, we got a phone call. No, neither do you. But your sister was Altera. My sister was my sister. She worked for Altera. My people do not perceive the difference. We are what we work for. Well, Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, and she was stubborn, just like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from Scrappier, faster, way less play by the rules. Was Sam working in the best interest of all time? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in-between to us. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. The first dialogue we've gotten in a hot minute. Pretty sure we've been in up here, but... At this point... Oh, I love them so much. Actually, just my favorite part of this game. These little guys. Oh, of course. Now it's all dark. Um, which way was I going? I didn't look at the compass. I think... I mean, I guess we'll go back to the house. I was trying to see if there was any other, like, platforms that we could get to. <sighs> I don't feel good about that outing at all. We didn't get very much of anything. Game, please. What? It finally went through all of its stuff. Alright. Uh, well, we have to- we have to build something really quick. Um, before these- Oh, I guess they're not gonna go bad. I thought they would go bad. Is that an indoor? It's an exterior grow bed. Interior. Interior. Miscellaneous? Where did I get my planter? Here it is. Which one? What, this one? I'm gonna run out of air just being indecisive about plants. Perfect. Actually. Let's just make a couple of them. May as well empty this too. Yeah, see, now we got all this salt that I don't need. creature egg in here. I don't don't need to hold on to that. Power restored. Hey. Okay. 
Throw the salt in there, put the titanium in here. Put the magnetite in there too. Copper, diamond. Oh, and I missed one. The ki kyanite. kyanite. I feel like I said there was a bug and the game was like, oh, we'll fix that right now. They heard me. Yeah, now it's like now it's going a lot faster. It already ate through something. Power restored. Okay. All primary systems online. Okay. So what are we gonna do? I kinda wanna build a big fancy bed. Just for fun. Aha, I already have some fiber mesh. It was two, right? Yeah. Where do we put it? Put it back here. Is that the one we want? Too small. I want the biggest one. Power oh, it's in manuals bed. Quilted double online. bed. Eh. Oh shit. We can take a nap. What happens as you are sleeping? I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of them. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of them. Aww. Maybe for my own safety. So that was kind of nice. It's kind of nice of him. So what do we do and where'd we go? Research, alien data. It's crazy how I felt like I was making so much progress and then it just like immediately stopped. Can 
I really just want to get to this beacon. Let's go back out. Unpowered. Is this thing even doing any work? immediately consumed. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab another seed. Maybe. If I can find one. Do the seeds just, like, not grow back? I was going to, uh, grab a seed and just <clears throat> plant it here so I would have an easier supply, but that's fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. I should get more, uh, more fish. Apparently those, or the, the eggs, those do really well. Unpowered still? Is it because it's like nighttime now? Did I just never make a new... I think I never made a new, uh, solar panel. Exterior. Quartz, titanium, copper wire. Copper wire. Two quartz. Two titanium. Copper ore? Oh, I thought it was copper wire. Alright, alright. Hopefully that'll help. <laughs> one of these because we never have enough. Oh, and we should make a new health pack because we go through those quite fast. To make fiber mesh, we need two creep vine samples. I'm pretty sure we only have one in here. Or maybe none. Well, we'll go get a couple. Two, three, four. Perfect. I like to have a little extra when I can. Many health packs, please. Hopefully three is enough. <laughs> Let's 
grab a potato. And let's go back out. She said with uncertainty. Alright. How to get our butt attached. Perfect. Let's try going down this way again. I'm pretty sure I, I like scoured this whole area and either didn't find anything or it was a different a different zone because we, we went into a couple of air, alien areas down here. keep going down. We do have a much deeper module, though, than the last time that we came down here. Oh! I can't imagine playing this game in VR. I know some people do that. That is crazy to me. Yeah, it was like down this way. Was something. Yeah, so we've been to this one, but this is not the thing that it's talking about. But this is the closest we've ever been. 200 meters. We are 200 meters from it. And I'm pretty sure we're at the like end of this area. Like, I don't think there's anything really anything else we can explore here. Like, I'm pretty sure that's just the bottom of our stuff. Soon I have to get out and repair my ship. Is this a path? like almost a path. Arrgh. Let's repair the ship while I keep bumping it into stuff. Okay. Yeah, that just loops around a little. goes back to where I was.
I'm pretty confident there's nothing else down here. I think we've seen everything from this particular cave system. it's daytime now. Is it snowing? Can we get our bearings a little bit? Maybe go to an island? Oh, uh, nope. Oh, there's... I know we came from that area. wondering if we can go up to any of these spots. This seems new and interesting. Perhaps. Like maybe there's a way to get up onto this island? Hey, orc! How are you doing? The strongest plants known to man. Okay. How are you feeling? Is the uh, the vaccine hitting you? Oh, that's crazy. We just went in another circle. I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, just a bit tired. Uh, messing, messing around with Street Fire characters and Power Rangers. Nice. Cool. I'm glad you're feeling good so far. I am uh, lost. I am lost in this game. I am confused. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do. Well, like, I know that I need to get to this, right? But I just can't figure out how to get there. Have I tried not getting lost? You know, I've been bleeding. Is this just, like... Game, please. It's fine, everything's fine. Oh, this will definitely fit. Yeah. Oh, we're definitely not supposed to come down here with the ship. It's fine. Who follows directions? What's that? What 
Motor vehicle bay. I mean, I'll take the titanium, I guess. I might have gotten myself stuck in here. I don't know if I can get myself out. Let me out! I made a mistake! Ugh. Game. I'm sorry. Please let me out. How did I even get in here? This way? I'll take it. Oh god. What have I done? <laughs> Why have I done this? I did this to myself. Uh, uh. Alright, got a little bit more maneuverable. My ship is at 62%. Right. Might as well eat some food. It feels like such a waste to have, like, a whole bunch of food made for an expedition, and then, like, I don't even get to go anywhere cool, I just get myself lost. I might need to, like, get out and swim ahead just to, like, figure this out. I'm gonna do that. Let's just get out for a minute. Let's figure out how we got in here so that we can leave. This looks like a way out, but I don't think it's gonna be my way out. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. Hooray! For a time, but then their presence becomes faint. We found one. I think we just have one more. Okay, but. How do we get out? How the fuck did we get in here? I guess I'm gonna go that way. This is not cool! I don't want to lose my chip. There we go. Just gotta 
gotta thread the fucking needle. This looks like progress. We're definitely going up. You guys, this must be the most fun stream ever. Just like me getting lost in caves. <sighs> I might have to abandon ship and just like make a new Seamoth sea truck. I think I'm legitimately stuck. Oh! Oh! Just when all hope was lost! Let me out! I can see the light! Yes! Oh, fuck yeah, that was the worst. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, God. Fuck that. Oh, my God. Give me one of these seeds. Like being reborn. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't have to build a whole new ship. And we found something we needed. Two... Part success it was worth it. It was near, it was worth the near major inconvenience. But now, this thing. I know we've been to a thing in one of these cave systems. So it might be this one. Or maybe not. I'm not really seeing anything down here. So, let's take a look at blueprints really quick. Oh, we don't have the tissues yet. And these, I really want to make them, I just don't know how. Array model. Module. The nature of this alien construction is unknown. It has no clear indicators of its function. The scan shows internal lights that emit different wavelengths. Theoretical purpose might be cosmic communication array, holographic display, light for relaxation purposes.
We found one that we didn't know we needed. been here before. So yeah, we've been to this tunnel. Maybe we'll go back here anyways and see if we missed anything. I need to stop taking this seamoth into tunnels. What am I doing? Pyro! Pyro, thank you so much for the raid! How was the rest of your stream? You were painting painting your minis. Did you did you finish them? I assume like they're going to take more than than one day to work on them. Swimmy swimmy. Hey Dragonflower. How are you? went well. Uh, oh, you weren't painting them, you were sculpting them. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was loosely watching while making some food and working and all that. I'm doing alright. I'm a little I'm a little stuck in this game, I will fully admit. I am stuck. Hey, Dash. Been actually, you've been checking out this game for a while? It's very good. I'm stuck right now, but it's very good. I haven't really decided if I like this one or the first one better. I think I like the first one a little better. Off my gut reaction. Got one with a mohawk and a braid on their axe. The other will have a six strand braid. Cool. So we've been in here. I don't think there's anything left to scan. This is where everything went down. Yeah, nothing to do here. Right now I'm just kind of going to some areas that I've been to previously because I can't figure out how to get to this artifact. And if anybody in chat has played this game before, and has a hint for me. I would accept a hint. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. They're gonna be painted up uh, along with at least one other in pride colors next month. We're taking part in a charity drive to raise money for the Trevor Project. That's awesome. That's so cool. Uh, I haven't played the first one yet, but you like the concept of an underwater adventure, but it's the story that um, you seem to be missing. Yeah, it's so the... I, I like the way that this game does story a lot. Um, it's definitely, like, primary an exploration game. But, you know, those extra story beats kind of, like, give you purpose. If my ship gets stuck again, I'm gonna be so salty. Hey, 
hey, thank you so much for the follow. I'm like a great stream. I mean, I'm trying, man. <laughs> this game has been kicking my butt today. I've just been kind of like aimlessly wandering, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Um, but we'll get there. I repair my repair my ship because I keep running it into walls. Um, have to go because you two hungry boys who want some nachos and movie. Well, have a great night. That sounds like a good time. Take it easy. Thanks for thanks for stopping by with the raid and giving me a follow. Maybe we should go back up to our base for a minute. Have a good one. snowing. Alright. Can't ever get your bearings whenever there's winter going on outside. Also, this is hilarious to me, that these platforms actually do support the weight of the base, even though they're, like, not touching anything. <laughs> oh, whoops. Forgot that I'm in my sub. Dock it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Very nice. Oh, and Pyro, you're going to make some dinner? Yeah, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your uh, post-stream self-care. I've started using that more if I have to uh, raid and dash. Um, I just I say I'm doing some self-care. I like that. I... Yeah, I thought I had at least one of those. Let's plant one, since we're back. That'll help. So we don't have to go quite so far to get more kelp. Oh, look at this. Look at our look at our plants. They're growing. Come on, drink the water. There we go. All right. Well, Gotta figure out something. The other thing that we have to do is get that blueprint for the tower thing. And I'm curious about the snow fox. Like, I get the idea that there's gonna be more um, traveling on land. But this is the only evidence I've seen of that. Spy pingling remote. I do kind of want this. This, the parallel processing unit. I don't even think I have the blueprint for that. Still don't have the laser cutter either. I feel like a lot is going to open up when I get the laser cutter. I'll be able to go into that big ship and actually...
actually do stuff. Throw those in there. I'm not sure why I have a wiring kit on me, but I guess I'll put that in with the gold and silver. Part of me was hoping that I just had a one of those processors on me. Alright, the arrow gel was ruby and some of these. Yeah. And then this fiber stuff. Spiral plant clippings, yeah. We definitely have that. Excellent. And copper wire. Cool. Well, we have a skill suit now. This is taunting me. This was lasting for so long, and now it's like 10 minutes. Um, what can I put in there that's gonna last a little bit longer? some battery plants in there. Any big creature eggs around? Oh man, it's just so taunting that it's like, it's so close, but we're always just like not, not quite close enough. That's actually killing me. I might try to look up like which biome it's in or something without like spoiling how to get there just so I know like what area if I'm even on the right track because right now it just feels a little aimless and that doesn't feel very fun I feel kind of bad that I'm just like cutting all these down and they like don't seem to grow back Let's see. Get that extra fuel in there. Okay. Let's see what I can come up with. Everything's just videos. <laughs> I just want step one without watching the video. Dragonflower, you have to go. Yeah, have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. You know, I will. I will get over this little this little temporary hump here and we'll we'll 
we'll make some progress sooner or later. Thanks for hanging out. See you around. Back it up. Got it. All right, all right. I'm pulling it up. Let's see. I need a small amount of direction here. Copa mining site underneath Delta Island. All right. That sounds like we have to go back to the volcanic area. Let's see where we get with that. I didn't read too much, just a little bit. Just need a little nudge. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's a delta, so it's under the delta island, so they say. Maybe we should just, like, go over to the edge. Unless maybe it's, like, something down here. No, we definitely have done this before. We've done this exact thing before and almost got stuck. I'll get out of my ship, though. Yeah, this was like that weird volcanic area. The title of my stream should be how many times will we go to the exact same area in one particular stream. That area does kind of seem like what was described, but... Have we gone... This way? Is there anything around here? Or is this just loop? Just loops back out. This does feel very promising. I think my ship just picked something up there. Oh. We're 
regrets, regrets. Going deeper. Ooh, okay. This seems right. Oh man, they like, they were really pushing the, the distance here. God, finally. Acquired. Sweet. Oh god, it's been so long since we made any progress. It still feels weird not being in my sea maw. My sea truck. It's an oxygen plant up there. Excuse me, don't hurt me. New I need that. Acquired. Copper wire. Uh, I already have that. Prawn suit. Oh, it's so close. Oh, is this the last one we need? Oh, thank God. I don't know what we're going to use the prawn suit for. I kind of hated using it in the first game, but uh, it's usually important for progress. Cut to access. Yo, I need some, like, oxygen, though. Can I come in? Or something. We're starting to get really low though. Yeah, like that wasn't gonna do very much. Oh, maybe I do want to go this way? Wait, this is where we came from though. What is this? Oh, did I just like go around this last time maybe? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Don't I know it? No, we did not go over here. Is that an open door? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 
I don't want to go all the way back. Builder. Don't need it. Fuck. Oxygen. I'm screwed. Well, we'll give that another try. At least we know the area we're supposed to be in. Okay. So, right back where we left off. Let's just do it again. I can't believe that we came in here, like, so many times. It honestly almost feels a little bit mean. Because it's very deceptive. I wouldn't- I wouldn't have, like, obviously I passed by this several times. Just assuming that I could not. This seems fishy. Yep. I can't even get mad at that one. I'm sure there's like some good direction in this in the game that I just like missed a little bit. And that's why I got so con so turned about why I was looking in the wrong places. Did I find the map chest? I uh I did not find anything. <laughs> I um I looked up the solution for how to get to this artifact and I read like the first couple of lines just to get me into the right area and it was like it's under the Delta Island and so then I just went to Delta and looked around until I found something that seemed right. It's the water temple. There's gotta be a map chest. Yeah, you're right. There must be. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Neat. We got it. We did it. While we're down here, it would be cool to, uh... Check out... This again. See if we missed much. I'd love to find a laser cutter fragment. That's what we really need. back up here. At least we have more oxygen this time. And then when we die, we at least have the research we needed. Pretty sure... Just making sure I'm thorough. Okay, no. Depleted. I don't know how long it takes those to recharge. I know it's not very long, but it's 
long enough that you can't camp on them. Oh. And we're just out now. Oh, shit. Okay. You see, now this would be a good place for a beacon. Just long enough to irritate. Just down. We'll just circle around, get our sea truck. And then, let's see, now I'm pretty sure we have all these blueprints. Nope, we still don't. Thought we had them all. They're so cute. Yeah, it got so cold. I think I move a little faster on land than I do in the water. Yeah, they're penguins. I'm not kidding. They are called penguins. They're very cute. I love them. Completely vertical. Let me in! Let me in! Wrong side. This side? Yeah. Penguins make it best game, hands down. I don't disagree. Alright. Mr. Alien Man... I'm ready for my next instructions. I've run out of places to go that I haven't been. Hopefully he'll give me a new indicator in a moment. Why are you taking weird instructions from a strange alien? Because he's in my brain now. He hijacked my brain. And just like, moved in. Ugh. Welcome aboard, Captain. This seems bad. Yeah, it's- it's like... When you, uh... It's- it's like when you're... Your roommate's, like, girlfriend moves in, you know? And she's just, she just, like, makes a huge mess and doesn't clean up after herself, you know? And, and she doesn't pay rent. That's what this alien is like to us. We're like, bro, come on. This sounds really specific. No, I've never, I've never had that happen to me. Thank God. I've watched the television. I've seen the shows where that happens. All right. Alien data. Alien statue. This alien statue of unknown origin, uh, assembled with precision out of block of pure copper, appears to represent a creature of some sort and resembles uh, centaurs of ancient Greek mythology. Several theories have been 
poised. The statue could serve as a cultural marker, uh, denoting the presence uh, or authority of a particular race or subgroup of intelligent alien race. Possible religious artifact depicting a deity or otherwise noteworthy figure. Artistic expression. An invented form representing imaginative thought. Alien of unknown origin. We're finding so many of these things. Altera, mining site. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Headlamp. <laughs> we still need this, uh, at the top, top here, that little battery looking thing. Didn't realize there were audio logs in this game. Yeah, that's pretty much all the story is in audio logs. Um, so, did that go away? It seems like it went away because I got there. But I've definitely been to some of these other ones. Yeah, so if I just turn it off and then on again, that's... Architect body cache. I'm gonna look what this one looks like because I've been to a lot of these and I wanna see if I recognize it. Oh yeah, wasn't this was the, that was the really, really deep one. Yeah, I remember. I remember that one. Fairly sure. When we went down into the crystal caverns and then kept going down. Let's give our friend a little bit of time to... Oh, reclaimed water. Gross. It's pee water. <laughs> Just water, but yellow. Gross. Gross. Let's just take all that. Alright, what... This is actually my question of my day. Question of the day. What are your most important, like, must-haves in a living space? Ob apart from the obvious. But, like, what should we make? Should We gotta have a table... For board games, that's important. You can have a nice desk. <laughs> Bed floor. Water.
Can I? Like a really good chair. A bookshelf. So, so apart from like stuff that you provide to the space, like if you're, if you're looking around, what are like the things included with the space that are must-haves for you? Because for me, I've been doing a bunch of apartment hunting lately. A good shower. See, that's a good. That's a good answer. Um, trying to like figure out what the most important things are for me has been kind of tricky. It's like, what what can I live without and what can I not? And I think one of the things. Where did I put quartz? I, there we go. Copper and quartz. Um, one of the things for me is is a decent kitchen with like a gas stove. I think I wanted a gas stove to not be like super important, but it just is always. A nearby walkable park. Yeah, it's nice to have a good location for sure. I like I like this desk a little better actually. Yeah. It's off center. You're back with double stacked Baba Burger. Fuck. I'm so jealous. I even like had a pretty nice dinner and I'm like super jealous. And yes, gas stoves are incredibly important. Like I've lived without gas stoves before, but I just so much prefer cooking with a gas stove. It's just, it's unreal the difference. Do we want a swivel chair or a command chair? This looks a bit more like a desky kind of chair. Yep, this is this is how I work at home. <laughs> put put the desk right in front of a window. It's the absolute best. But the other thing I really want to do is get this uh, this glass roof. This here. Need a bunch of enameled glass. Four titanium. Two lithium. And enameled glass. Unpowered again! What happens if I put battery plants in it? I guess we'll go get some more plants. Oh, look! Welcome aboard, Captain. Hurry up! Hurry up and be powered! It's like the bait. Oh, you know what? I'll just go to sleep. Because it's there. I I need more sunlight to get the solar pa panels to work. So we'll just sleep for a little bit. Pyro, what are your must haves in a living space? I'm curious. Let's see. 
I was making some enamel glass. Lead and diamond. Oh, I don't have any lead, though. We've definitely gone through that before, where I just didn't have any lead, and it was really annoying to find. Alright, let's drop this food. Man, I'm getting a lot of reclaimed water. <laughs> Honestly, not much, but it depends on how many people you're living with. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm, like, super picky. I need, like... Uh, a gas stove was up there. Uh, as much as I was like, it's a good, it's a nice to have. It's It was definitely more of, like, a need for me. Um, On-site laundry. On-site laundry is, like, non-negotiable. If I have to leave the building to do laundry, I am not interested. Um, those are my big ones. Right now you're not in a great house, not ideal, but it's better than some places you've lived. Yeah, I feel that. I, um, I look forward to you getting in a, a better living situation for you, hopefully sooner than later. But I know that grind. I think lead is the rarest element in this game. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've, I've said a bunch of times that I've been apartment hunting, so I won't shut up about it. It's all that's on my mind. You're not in a rush living with your dad and he's willing to wait until your business picks up to start charging me charging you rent okay well that's good that you've got like a good support system in place so you don't have to feel pressured oh i guess i still need to breathe huh they used it all up in mass effect all the lead god damn it like, I've gone so far, and I've found, like, three of these. Oh, that's our first one. That's our first one that had lead in it. Dang it. Well, that didn't help. Laser cutter fragment! <gasps> yes! We got the laser cutter! Oh, finally! Oh my god. Good lord. I, um... So for those of you who haven't played the first game, there's a difference with this game um, where pretty much every single... Oh my god. So many guys. Alright. Uh, pretty much every single mineral has its own like look to the rock that it's trapped in, and it can either be that mineral or titanium. And that's just, like, the same across the board. Um, in the in the first game, there were, like, three different kinds of rocks, and each one would have, like, a group of different things that you could break open. Potentially. So, like, 
the most common one would be either titanium, copper, or lead, something like that. And so because of that, there was a lot more just abundance of stuff. But this one, it's like you kind of have to go around and just like constantly dig until you find the exact right rock that you need. I might just have to go back to those little lava biomes. Because there was a lot of mineral over there. I don't know if it was lead specifically, but... Oh, here's one, here's one. Yeah, two lead! Like, this doesn't seem worth it to get enough enameled glass just to make an aesthetic change to our base. <laughs> just so much work. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let me in. Let me in. Might as well use one of those. Back it up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. The pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Backing up. Thank you, Seb. See, this is all silver. That's all silver. I don't know what's in these ones. Let's check. Chance of gold. Alright. I don't need any gold. silver, more titanium. Here's one. Oh. Ah, leave me alone. These guys used to be just like so spooky and now I'm just used to it. I don't see any now. This is one. I'm worried I'm gonna get eaten, but... Hey. Let's just look around here for a moment. One thing I'm surprised about is we haven't um, stumbled across any 
like, high up leviathans. Only that big one in the, in the deep. So one thing I'm curious about is, like, what happens if you just go further out and just go beyond the border to, like, that dead zone. How much do I have? I've got three. That's not even enough. ultra this thing we can do it if you want we can just like go to the edge and just see what happens do you want to do it Seb should we do it if I don't find any more lead Do I mind if you ban some known viewer bots? It won't affect your actual viewer count? Um, no, I guess that's fine. You've been doing this longer than me, I trust you. Man, were those all but just like bots in the stream? God damn. How dare. I wonder like what they do. Uh Nothing useful. Yeah, obviously I ban the ones that, like, uh, post in the chat that are obvious bans. But I hadn't considered ones that just, like, are there, just hanging out, just chilling. Let's see. I want to just drop off, like, everything that matters. Titanium. Got a bit of gold. I'll drop off the lead. We'll put the quartz and the gold in here. And the copper. Uh, you were surprised to see some of them because a couple weeks ago Twitch announced they would be deleting all known view and host bots. They clearly missed some. Yeah, I think that's something that, like, Twitch is never going to be able to fully, fully have, have their, have wrapped up tight, you know? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. Okay. And then we're going to... We're going to go to the edge. And then we're going to keep going. And we're going to see what happens. Because I am curious. I want to know if we see, like, a different creature. So, I think we went this way last time. And there was, like, a dead zone. And I'm curious. Some of them have been known for a couple of years, gotcha. Um, 
I guess I'm just curious, like, what they do if they don't engage in chat. Like, what is the bot's purpose? They could just be, like, fishing for information. To bother you. <laughs> uh... Oh man, in Kim's stream earlier, I loved her uh, use channel points to temporarily mute someone. I thought that was like the funniest thing I've seen for channel points in a while. I don't know if I would like if I'd want to do it for my own stream, but I thought it was hysterical. But I was thinking about that with with uh, puns. You're safe for now. Garlic's not here. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Good to know. Things cool looking. I think garlic only cares about puns if they're bad, though. Garlic has a good um, sense of good and bad puns. We're just gonna keep going. Keep going. Until we reach the end. Who knows, maybe we'll find some, like, crazy alien base. There is no kid where there is no pun. Such is the way. Well, don't worry, I would never ban them entirely. I just like the playful banter between chat. We're going down. Where no sub has gone before. This is like straight down too. There is there is nothing else. It sounds scary. All right, computer, where's my warning about going down to this depth? Going down to this dead zone. Dun, 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 dun. We can only go to a thousand meters, so. Oh. Oh, it's just one of you. It's not even like one of the big fish. They're gonna destroy the sub though. Yeah. Do we just get eaten when we come down here? I thought it would at least be a different kind of fish. All right. I'm gonna load the save because that was just experimental and I don't want to rebuild my submarine. I died. Rip. Well, I guess we'll see where it, where it loads us, but. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah, that's fine. We're just gonna reload.
Although we'll see, this might actually be a good place to stop. You know what? I think I think that's I think that's right on. I think it's been three hours. We did some aimless wandering. I don't think I'm ready to do another hour of aimless wandering. So let's raid somebody. Seb, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been really nice chatting with you. Pyro, you as well. Thank you. And thanks for grabbing those uh, those common bots for me. Because that's something I would not have known to do myself. It's been a cool time. I'm glad, you, glad you're enjoying it. I am like... I don't like feeling stuck in games. So... So I, I think I'm gonna have to, um, have to think about this game a little bit while while I'm off to try to figure out like what I should be doing next, and kind of prepare for the next one. So I'm not jumping in, just being like, "All right, here we are. Now what?" Um, but yeah, I got this. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm just, we'll, we'll we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Like I I feel like I'm close to having all the pieces I need to put the game together. But let's see. Does... Let me pull up the raid. I was looking on my phone to see who was live. <laughs> 